Hey, how you doing? It's Jake over at Periscope Creative. So this is a project we did for Givenchy. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that properly or not. But the guild out in L.A. called us a while back asking if we could come out and shoot one of the window displays that they installed for Givenchy out at the Wynn. Uh, we agreed, and we went out and showed up. And when we had gotten there, everything had already been taken down, so we had a we had a huge challenge in front of us as far as creating um, uh, a backdrop, so a black backdrop so that we can kill all the reflections in the glass. We didn't get 100% the way we wanted to, but enough, hence all the post-production work uh, to fix what we weren't able to shoot live in person. Simply, there was just too many people walking uh, in that particular area, and there was no way to cordon it off uh, to get isolation the way we needed it to. So looking here at the before, um, you can see there's a huge amount of mess. Um, there's still some reflection over at the top. I'm thankful we didn't have to worry about dealing with any of the casino games on the floor. That would have been an absolute nightmare. But for the most part, starting with this before shot, it's there structurally where we need it. There just needs to be a lot of work done to it. So looking over here at the final shot, uh, you can see that we've done a lot of editing to this. We've gotten rid of the reflections, um, straightened some things out a little bit. So let's go ahead and see how we went about doing that. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're basically extending our backdrop. The backdrop that we had uh, on set just wasn't tall enough. We didn't have enough room to set up everything the way we wanted to. So what we did was in a series of shots as we were doing the tilt shift, we moved the backdrop. Uh, starting from the right behind me over to the left kind of like in a half semicircle and it gave me enough um, black information non-reflective information to be able to uh, stretch everything out and bring everything down so the other thing that they wanted to do is they wanted to get rid of those seams in the different uh, windows for the door um, so we had to take those out this part right here extending that blue glow underneath the dress um, that was a little bit challenging a lot of uh, very specific masking techniques. Um, yeah, there we are again, opening up that seam, closing it down, uh, making it look as if it's one solid piece of glass. Um, additionally, trying to get out any ancillary reflections. Uh, now we go into all the various spot toning and uh, trying to fix this top portion right here was a little challenging. So instead of using the existing information, what I did ultimately in the end uh, once we got everything where we wanted it to be is I tried different techniques but we ended up just rebuilding it from scratch um, like redrawing it over again and we matched up the lighting the right way and and the the gradients the right way uh, to make it look as consistent as possible um, and then it's just a little bit of spot toning and then looking at the before and then uh, yeah so we added a few little effects um, at the back end of things, straightened everything out with the perspective, uh, made sure everything was the way it needed to be, and by the end of it all, um, I think it came out looking pretty darn good. So let's go ahead and look at the before, and let's look at the after. Excellent. So, once again, my name is Jake, I'm with Periscope Creative, and if you have some time, we'd really like it if you could uh, swing on over to Facebook, go ahead and follow us on Facebook. Also, uh, check us out on Instagram and Twitter at PeriscopeLV.